Hello, Kamen fans, and welcome back to Toku Topics. Today, I'm taking a look at the three premium Bandai exclusive Ride Watch Courser sets. So these are actually brand new Ride Watches that have come out here in 2022. So obviously, it's been a couple years since Kamen Rider Geo ended, but basically, recently, premium Bandai has kind of been giving some items that never got releases sort of a second chance at getting releases. Uh, we're seeing this quite frequently now uh, with these ride watches, with the Natashiko driver, with the Yujo burst icon. We of course have Bane Bane Tank Geshat finally happening. But I am a huge ride watch fan. They're one of my favorite Comrade gimmicks. So when these got announced last year, I absolutely had to pick them all up. So these are all from the Comrade Geo over Courser film. And they're very interesting ride watches because they're ones that like we probably should have gotten a long time ago. We just didn't for whatever reason. I have no idea why we didn't. Uh, all of these work very well with the Jiku driver, which we're going to take a look at. And uh, they're just really pretty sets. So thankfully, these got a US release uh, via Team Comrader and Bluefin. So that's why I have them here now. Uh, they did come out months ago in Japan, but the US release just finally shipped from Toko Collectibles like a week ago. So we would finally have them all here. Quartz are set one, two, and three. So... As you can see, these sets are all themed after certain groups of riders here. Um, they're also themed after the riders that used them in the Overcourts or film, because if you remember that film at all, there was a trio of brand new riders that were based off of Heisei riders, basically. Basically, riders that either existed in Heisei, but weren't quite like an official Heisei series, like, you know, one of the mainline series, or shows that came out during the Heisei, or productions that came out during the Heisei era, but were still considered Showa, or... I don't really know why Black Rx is, is here, actually. <laughs> I guess, actually, Black Rx was the show that aired when the Heisei era began, uh, I believe, if I remember that correctly. Because I could transition from Showa to Heisei, I think, during Black Rx. Something like that. So, that's kind of what we got going on here. But I really, really like these a lot. So, I'm going to kind of zoom in a little bit so we can take a look at each of these boxes in a closer look. And, of course, we also have the Jiku Driver back here. Because we're going to take a look at these in the Jiku Driver, of course. So we'll go ahead and angle this a little bit better. So right here we have the Ride Watch Quartzer Set 01. So this comes with, of course, three Black RX themed Ride Watches, which since Black RX is most certainly considered a Showa series, uh, these are the first Showa Ride Watches we are ever getting, which is <laughs> kind of ridiculous uh, because the Jiku driver has screens programmed inside of it for all of the Showa Riders, but we just never got toys of them. So as you can see here, we have Robo Rider, Bio Rider, and Black RX, which are the three watches that were seen on the ride watch holder of Comrader Barlix, uh, which you can see on the back here. So I love the artwork on these. So Comrader Barlix was the main villain of Overquartzer, and he was Black RX themed. So we have him back there. Now, Barlix, Zongis, and Zominus, the three riders that these ride watch sets are supposed to go with. Basically, these watches were barely used in the film, they were just on those riders ride watch holders on their wrists some of these watches were used a little bit uh, but some of them literally were just there for aesthetic which is probably why we never got them released before until now uh, but the black R or the barlick sanjus and zominus ride watches for their actual rider forms did get a release in a premium bandai set years ago so we at least got their main ride watches we just didn't get their like aesthetic ones you can see right there bluefin logo right there on the top all of these have a fun little phrase so this one says heisei will be back which I guess probably not, but like, obviously that was kind of the whole point of the villains in the film. And then right here, we have Black RX, Spire Rider, and Robo Rider, and it says 1988. And then back here, we have the Ride Watches. So very, very pretty. I love that a lot. Now, set two is for the end of the show era riders, the three uh, 1990s movie trilogy, kind of. I mean, they weren't really a connected trilogy but these were the three commoner films that came out in the 90s when there was no shows airing so we have shin zeto and j which came out in 1992 1993 and 1994 so these are very cool ride watches to get so these go alongside black rx to have some show era ride watches because even though these definitely came out during the heisei period period of japan they are still considered show riders because kuga is kind of considered the original the first uh actual heisei rider so we have the three of them there and on the back, we have Comrade Zongis, who was the representative of these three. And you can see the uh, Shin and what is that, the J ride watch on his uh, wrist there, which J was used in the film. And I think ba Robo Rider was? Or no, Bio Rider was. Bio Rider was used in the film and J was used in the film uh, because J was used to make Barlix grow big at the end of the film. 
So we can have, we have a Shin Zeto and J on the back there over Quartzer Ride Watch set two. And on the side, we have the Ride Watches again. And on the other side, we have Shin Zeto and J for 1992 through 1994. And on the top, it says Reiwa is beautiful. So I don't really know why it says that, but it's fun. So we have that. And this one is a very interesting one. So this one is obviously based off of the Amazons, but we can see that is not a ride watcher. It is it's not a rider in the middle there, which is really interesting. And we'll get to that as to why here in a second. But basically this is the Amazon's ride watch set used by Comrade Zamanus. So we have Amazon Alpha and Amazon Neo from Amazon's season one and Amazon's season two. Now, what's really interesting about this rider in particular, which we'll show off on the back here, Comrade Zamanus was based off of the three Amazons, Alpha, Omega, and Neo. But Omega, which was used, uh, or not used, but seen on Zamanus's wrist in the film, alongside Alpha and Neo, actually got a release. So I have that back here. So basically, Amazon Omega was a movie ticket promotional bonus item. So this one actually did get a release. So technically, this goes in like the middle of this set to go alongside Alpha and Neo. We just never got Alpha and Neo, which is really strange because there are dedicated screens in the Jiku driver for Alpha and Neo, but we just didn't get their ride watches till now. So to kind of keep up the whole theme of three ride watches per set, they decided to throw in another ride watch we never got released from the toy line, which is the Blink ride watch, which is basically a ride watch that we've seen uh, we saw on the show before they turned into the regular ride watches. I think we saw one for what would become the Geo ride watch, and we also saw them uh, for when they be, got, got turned into the another ride watches. So there's a lot of fun sounds with this one, uh, and kind of a fun little idea to kind of just throw in here, uh, since we also didn't never got that one, and it works. So now we can complete the Amazon's trio, we can complete Zamonos's ride watches, and we can get another ride watch we never got. So here on the side we have the Blink ride watch, Alpha and Neo, and then on the side here we have Alpha and Neo. And then on the top, we have no Heisei, no Rider. So <laughs> that's what we got there. So I'm going to go and open up all these Ride Watches. And we're going to take a look at all of them in the Jiku Driver. Okay, so we have all the Ride Watches out of the box here. So we're going to go and start with the first one from set one, Black RX. So as you can see here, we have the Black RX logo, 1988 right there. So a very pretty typical Ride Watch, nice green and black for Comrade of Black RX. So of course, we can turn the dial to complete the face. And then, of course, we have to test it out in the GP driver. So let's just get it all loaded up here. And thank you for the people outside doing yard work. I hope that's not too annoying. So it's crazy finally getting a GQ driver screen that has something before the year 2000 on it, but there, that was always programmed in here. It's just crazy that we never got ride watches that could unlock it. Alright, so there is Black RX. And then next up we have from Black RX as well, we have Bio Rider here. Very nice blue and silver, I think looks very pretty. We have 1988 as well there. Same kind of logo and everything for Black RX, because uh, it is just another form of Black RX. But it's cool that we have them all here. And also for your Mass Rider fans. So there is Bio Rider. So I'm pretty sure there is no designated screens for Bio Rider or Robo Rider, so these are going to be very similar. You can see the green light there again, but they will have unique sounds.
there is Bio Rider. And then finally, from set one, we have Robo Rider, very nice yellow and black ride watch, very similar to like the Kaiser ride watch. But once again, Black RX 1988, very similar stuff as we've had with the other two. All right, and that will do it for set one. First up from the second set, we have Shin. So we have Shin's logo there in 1992. I really like this like yellow and green kind of, you know, insecty color that we have going on here for Shin, because you know, he's definitely a very kind of different Kamen Rider. Um, so it's very cool to get a ride watch for him. So yeah, I really like this one a lot. So there is Shin. And then next up from set two, we have Zetto. So there it is right there with 1993. I think it's just a Zetto time break. A lot of them don't just say their name, they say some sort of attack thing, so that's interesting. And then finally, from this set, we have the one used in the film, the J Ride Watch. So there it is right there, 1994. So it did reference Jumbo Formation when he grows all big, so that's pretty cool. I would say Jumbo, and it did. So that worked out well. All right, so that finishes off the second set of ride watches. So first up in the final set is Amazon Alpha. So I really like this one a lot. So we'll show it off of Amazon Omega in a second, but we have 
2016, we have Amazon. Okay, I bumped the button for the finisher there. So we have there right there, Amazon Alpha, which does look very nice with Amazon Omega. They did make sure these ride watches match very nicely with the black like uh, watch dial thing and then like the nice kind of metallic green and red. It looks very nice. So um, if you have Omega, it would be nice to have Alpha finally here. So of course, let's go ahead and act, hear all the sounds. And I do love that the Amazons do have dedicated screens in this driver. I really like that one. <laughs> And then our final like regular ride watch to take a look at today is Amazon Neo from Amazon's season two. So you can see it's a little bit different from the Amazon Alpha and Omega's ride watches. Uh, so it has like just kind of this, not really baby blue, it's kind of like a off blue color with this nice gray dial. It says 2017 instead of 2016 because that's when season two aired. So that's a fun one. All right. So after hearing the same finisher nearly eight times, <laughs> we are done with all of that. So finally, we have this special blank ride watch. So very basic ride watch, but that's kind of the point. So it has a very similar sort of dial to the Another Riders, uh, where there's just kind of a blank screen there. You could put the Another Rider ride watch dials on here or any ride watch dial on here. But basically this, I believe, if I remember correctly, has all of the Another Rider, uh, Another Rider ride watch sounds programmed into it. So if you never picked up all of the Another Rider ride watch uh, like sets that they made during Geo, this is a pretty cool one to have. So I think there's a lot of sounds we have to play with this one. So let's go ahead and get started. So if you don't hold the button down, you just get kind of it becoming a ride watch thing. And then I think if you hold the button down, now we're in another ride watch mode.
So it resets to Kuga. So it doesn't have every another rider in there. That's just uh, Kuga through Geo. So it does not have Zero One, The End, Shinobi, Quiz, Kakai, Geo Two, and I think that's it. Or Nishigo. That was another one that they did. So I'm gonna go ahead and show off. I have it set to Agito right now. I'll show off what it does in the Jika Driver on Agito. <laughs> the screen literally says nothing. <laughs> so yeah, it does nothing. So it doesn't matter what setting you're in, it won't do anything. <laughs> in the Jiggy Driver, pretty much. It literally unlocks the screen of nothing. But yeah, that's about it. So that's going to pretty much do it for my review of the Ridewatch Quartzer sets 01, 02, and 03 with the Black RX, Bio Rider, Robo Rider, Shin, ZOJ, Amazon Alpha, Amazon Neo, and Blank Ridewatches. So these are all very, very cool. I'm very happy that Bandai finally decided to make them three years after the Over Quartzer film originally released. Also, huge, huge thanks to Team Comrider and Bluefin for actually making these available for a US order. It made them significantly cheaper, even though I had to wait like four additional months, but I'm good with that. But basically, any ride watch collector is definitely gonna like these sets. Uh, what's really cool about them is how they are all specialized. So like if you're just a Black RX fan, you could just pick up set one. Or if you're just like a main rider completionist, you can pick up like one and two. If you just really like Amazons, you can pick up set three. It goes very, very nicely with Amazon Omega that was previously released. If you'd never got the another rider sets, you could sort of supplement it with that one. Like there's just a lot of really cool things going on here. And I think these are pretty awesome. So I highly recommend them, but I am a big ride watch collector. So that's of course where my bias comes from that from. But if you like these, I'd like to hear your guys' thoughts down in the comments below. Are you going to pick them up? Do you need them for your collection? Do you already have them from the Japanese release? Whatever you want to talk about down in the comments below, I want to hear it. So until next time, you guys can follow me on Twitter at LivingAngelKey or at LightningFigPR, and I'll see you all later.